Good morning. Welcome to the pinning ceremony for the May 2021 graduates of the WSU Tech Practical Nursing Program. Aren't we glad we don't have to wear these anymore? <laughs> This is a special class. Most of you went to nursing school through the entire pandemic. You did great. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sherry Utash, president of WSU Tech. Thank you, Pat. Good morning, everybody. So, so happy to be here. I know I'm happy, but I think you all right here are way happier. Am I right? You know, I woke up this morning, maybe like some of you did, and I said, oh my gosh, I didn't know we'd ever get to this day. And so because of that, you are in a incredibly special group of graduates. So I want to take just a moment because we're going to celebrate you and today is all about you. But before we do that, it's always important that we think about all the people that have been on this journey with you. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to look up in the stands and if you have family and friends here, I want you to look up to them and I want you all to stand up, you graduates, stand up, look into the stands to those that are your loved ones, and thank them for everything they've done to get you to this day. <laughs> Stay standing, you're not done. You gotta work this morning, right? So none of us do anything great without many, many, many people with us. So these family and friends that are here, both in this arena and virtually, we want to welcome you if you're joining us virtually this morning. You, because of their love and their support, you're where you are today. Now there's another group of people that we really need to recognize, and I want you to help me recognize them. So would all the staff and the faculty of WSU Tech that have been part of your journey, please stand. Again, could not have gotten to this point in your journey without this group of people also, correct? All right, have a seat, everybody. You've met Pat Plank, who is our, our, our Associate Dean of Nursing. I also want to introduce to you Lynn Loveland. Lynn, would you stand? Lynn is our Dean of Health Sciences, and Sarah Leftwick, our VP of Health Sciences. So, today is a day of celebration. 
You look great in your white. I love it. I'm super excited for you. And at every pinning, I always have to say this. I'm very proud of you. And I'm super proud this year because this has taken a lot of persistence and grit um, that will go with you into continuing your education and into your careers. And I always say I feel really good because I know you've been well educated. Because someday, more than likely, one of you or more will be taking care of myself or one of my loved ones. And so I appreciate what you've done. I wish you all the best as you continue your education or go into the world of work or do both. And always remember that you started at WSU Tech and we thank you for choosing us as the college to start your education. So best of luck, congratulations to all of you. The class response will be given by the student representatives, Courtney Marcotte, Lauren Pankratz, Gregory Decker, and Princella Pongbongsa. Hello, family, friends, faculty, and fellow classmates. Thank you all for attending the 2021 pinning ceremony. One of the biggest days in our lives, we made it. We accomplished a milestone in our journey. I can still hear Denise's voice at orientation. Kiss your family and friends and tell them, see you in a year. To me, it was a warning for what we would soon encounter going through LPN school. But all the long, stressful, sleepless nights were beyond worth it. Nursing school is not easy, or everyone would do it. It takes a special kind of individual to want to go out and help, as well as care for individuals with different disorders or diseases. As we close this chapter in our lives, I would like to look back at some of the things that we went through the past 10 months. Beginning with Sheila's class, and all the purple ink that we used for the assignments, to the exams that had four answers that were correct, but we needed to find the most correct answer. Our time in clinical was short due to being in nursing school during COVID and the facilities not being able to allow students in, but our faculty did what they could to make our experience the best possible for the situation we were given. We lost as well as gained students going into second semester, which to me flew by. Seems like just yesterday we were beginning maternal child class, awaiting our clinical rotation to the VA. Now here we are, pinning day. For some, this may be the last time we ever sit in, the, in a room together. For others, becoming a registered nurse will be where your next journey is. But fellow classmates and future nurses, as we walk out of here today, Always remember, if it's not documented, you didn't do it. <laughs> Hello, friends. So today's a little bit of a bittersweet day. On the one hand, today is the last day we'll all be sitting in a room together. And for some, it may be the last time we ever see each other. But it's also a day to be proud of everything we've accomplished. Over these last several months, we've cried, we've been frustrated, we've failed at times. Many of us have been pushed nearly to a breaking point several times. But here we are, we did it. We've taken those frustrations, those challenges, and rather than quitting, we learned, we grew, and we succeeded. We're going into a whole new world in which we'll be tasked with caring for others. An anthropologist named Margaret Mead was once asked what was to her the first sign of civilization. Her answer was a human femur, around 15,000 years old, that had broken and healed. We know that an animal, something like that, is a death sentence. You can't run, you can't run from predators, you can't get water, you can't get to food, you know, ADLs. To see that one had broken and healed showed that someone had stayed with the person, caring for them and ensuring their basic needs were met until the person could do it on their own again. That is nursing. We have been taught that our role is to care for people, to maintain their ability to function, to do for them until they're capable of doing for themselves, or to ensure comfort and dignity at the end of life. 
I'm so proud of everyone here and thankful to the teachers who have held our hands and guided us and shared their knowledge and wisdom with us. I think that the thing that will always stand out to me when I look back is the strange sense of joy we got when several of us failed the same test. It was never that we wanted to see one another fail, but in that moment, when we questioned if we were good enough, if we belonged here, we knew that we were not alone. While this may be the end of this leg of our journey together, I hope that when you find yourself wondering if you're good enough, when you question if you're doing the right thing, you look back at this time and know that you're not alone. Good luck as you continue on. Never lose your curiosity. Keep, your, keep an open mind. And one person at a time, you have the opportunity to make the world an amazing place. Well, friends, today's the day we've been waiting for. Some of us have been waiting for only a year or so. Others, like me, more than that. I have waited nearly a decade to become a nurse. Being in this very program and failing for the first time around eight years ago was hard. I felt defeated. So I left the nursing field to work for a local aircraft company. Years later, I see my older brother, Chris, working towards his RN, and he inspired me to go back and try again. Two years ago, I applied, and to my surprise, I was accepted. January 2020 comes. My evening classmates and I see the beginning of this pandemic, watching everything shut down and seeing the news showing thousands of people getting sick. When discussing my plans to go back to nursing school, a coworker comments, it takes a certain kind of person to jump into that mess. They were right. I am that kind of person. And I'm not alone, obviously. I have always loved to help people, and I'm so glad I came back to reach the finish line. Today we celebrate our program completion. Tomorrow begins our next goal to achieve, the NCLEX. I want to thank our faculty and staff for teaching us and sharing your wisdom. We will always be grateful for your tedious hours, the extra study Zoom sessions, and everything else you did for us. Also, I want to thank my family and friends for the never-ending love and support. We did it. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, faculty, staff, student, families, and friends. We have learned how to communicate utilizing an SBAR, which stands for Situation, Background, assessment, recommendation, and repeat. I thought it would be fun to do a quick esper on my classmates. <laughs> this is Princella Pongbongsa, LPN student at WSU Tech. I am in care of 18 nursing students. I'm concerned with their blood pressures. It is steadily elevating near a hypertensive crisis of 170 over 110. They were admitted January 21st, 2020. Immunizations up to date, no known drug allergies. They're confused and disoriented. <laughs> Their symptoms have worsened since March with the spread of COVID-19. Complaints of fatigue, difficulty sleeping, palpitations, re relentless instructors, and shortness of breath with masks. All tests and assessments have been completed, results exceeding the 75% test average. Based on this assessment, I would recommend some stress-free rest and relaxation before the NCLEX exam. Encourage low-sodium diet, meaning no more ramen noodles or salt rim margaritas, alcohol in moderation, teach stress-relieving techniques, monitor blood pressure and report any changes in symptoms. How did I do? <laughs> Not bad, right? In all seriousness, we are here today because these bright individuals sitting here before you decided to become a nurse. Margaret Harvey was quoted, when a person decides to become a nurse, they make the most important decisions of their lives. They choose to dedicate themselves to the care of others. This quote inspired me the most when thinking about our journey today. We unexpectedly face a worldwide pandemic which resulted in social isolation. Our kids homeschooled, rationing toilet paper, a total crisis in my home. 
Zooming class from home, it still close chose to continue with nursing school. We may not be the class with the we may be the class with the least clinical experience, but I wholeheartedly believe we make it up for it with the drive, compassion, innovation, and grit. It definitely was not easy, but well worth the fight. I want to commend my classmates for their hard work and perseverance during a time of uncertainty. I've never met a group of more caring and kind people who rallied around each other when one of us did not do so well on a test or having a rough time with a class. Accordingly, I want to thank our families and friends. Without your endless support and understanding, this last year and a half would have been a very daunting task. Correspondingly, I also want to thank our teachers for constantly pushing us to be the best nurse we could be and for the amount of time they dedicated to ensuring we succeeded. This graduating class will always check facts with facts and never forget to check the fundus. In conclusion, I would like to take this time to congratulate my fellow classmates and wish them all the best on their next adventure. I don't know if I can follow that. <laughs> the practical nursing pin given to every graduate of the WSU College of Applied Sciences and Technology Practical Nurse Program cannot be considered mere jewelry or a reminder of graduation like a tassel or a mortar board. Rather, the nursing pin has a history that connects each new WSU Tech practical nurse to every practical nurse who has come before every nurse in the United States, and every nurse who has ever accepted the responsibility of our profession. The wearing of the nursing pin is a privilege earned by graduates of nursing programs across the country. It is a symbol of the practice of nursing and the educational uh, preparation of the wearer. Most schools have a pinning ceremony to honor their graduates, and WSU Tech is no exception. The tradition of the nursing pin and the ceremonial pinning at the completion of the nursing program originated in the 1860s at the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London. Having been recently awarded the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless service to the injured and dying in the Crimean War, Florence chose to extend the honor to those outstanding graduate nurses by presenting each of them with a medal for excellence. Wolverton Royal Hospital in England initiated the tradition of presenting all nursing graduates with a badge. In the United States, the first pin was presented to the graduating class of 1880 at the Bellevue Hospital of New York City. By 1916, the practice of pinning new nurses was common throughout North America. While nurses do not always wear caps and white uniforms, nurses, nurses proudly wear a pin it is a treasured symbol of their association and everlasting bond with their nursing school, evidence of completing a rigorous, mentally and physically demanding nursing program, and the recognition of the history and heritage of nursing. Each pin is distinctive, representing only one program, and it identifies to others the program from which the nurse graduated. The WSU Tech Practical Nursing Pin has two stalks of wheat representing the growth of students into nurses, the Nightingale Lamp symbolizing the light of knowledge, and the WSU Tech logo. Bethany Parker. I want to dedicate this rose to Jason and Gia for being supportive of me and also to my family for their encouragement. Bethany Othman. 
Daniel, every time I wanted to give up, I remembered you were watching. This is for you. Daishwan Davis. Daishan. I dedicate my rose to my family and friends who have supported me on this journey and to my dad who couldn't be here but has watched over me through this whole experience from heaven. Guadalupe Herrera. I would like to dedicate this rose to my mother Maria and father Jose. If it wasn't for them coming to the United States to have a better life, I wouldn't have made it this far. To my children, Johnny, Isabel, and Ismael, who inspired me to follow my dreams. Crystal Dubon. There is one person who is responsible for my graduation day, and that person is my husband, because without him, none of this would have been possible. On this day, I want to say thank you for everything. Carla Mattis Duran. To my mother, Griselda Duran, she lost her battle to breast cancer in 2012. I wouldn't be the person I am today without her hard work and dedication to her children. To Neil Colbert, I would like to dedicate my rose to my friends and family who have supported me in my long quest to be a nurse. It truly has been long, hard work of the heart. Kese May. To my girls, my mom, and my sister Emma for their love, support, and understanding when I was too busy to care for anything. Christina Perez. <clears throat> I would like to dedicate this rose to my father, <clears throat> who always pushed me to become better, and to myself for believing in me. Sandy Simfun Pukti. I would like to dedicate my rose to my family and friends. Without you guys believing in me, I would never have made it this far. Brittany Stuber. I dedicate my rose to friends, family, and supportive classmates, my children especially, for keeping me motivated. Callie Watson. <clears throat> to my parents, who I couldn't have got through life without, but I especially couldn't have got through nursing school without. I don't deserve you guys. Thank you. I love you. Autumn Vowenkuhl. I dedicate my rose to my family and friends. Your overwhelming support and encouragement was appreciated more than you will ever know. Thank you. Agnes Elijah. I dedicate my flower to my mom, Teresa, and daughter, Chantel, for supporting me throughout school life. Lauren Pankratz. I want to dedicate my rose to my family. You all sacrificed so much for me to get here and never stopped believing in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Tiara Adkins. I would like to dedicate this rose to my family for all their love, support, and encouragement. For that, I'm grateful forever. Chad Hunt. There are too many people to single out, so I dedicate this rose to everyone who has helped me along this journey. Destiny Nichols. Between my friends that I have gained through this program that have kept me pushing through, my family who watch my children anytime I need, and my husband who has been working out of town since last June to bring in enough income to allow me to quit my job to pursue my dreams, there isn't just one person to dedicate this rose to. I dedicate it to all of them. Crystal Porter. To my wonderful children for all the love, support, and sacrifices you all have made to help me on my journey to reaching my goals to become a nurse. To my parents, family, and friends, thank you for your prayers, love, encouraging words, and push for me to finish. I'll see you at my next graduation, RNBSN, 2023, Kaylee Owens. I dedicate my rose to my family, boyfriend, and close friends for their continued support and encouragement throughout this journey. I couldn't have done it without you. Ashlyn Arnold. Thank you for my family and friends for always believing in me and pushing me to succeed. 
Wilson Kingary, to my family and friends for always being there for me, to my classmates, we did it. Simeon Melly, nursing is not only a job, but is an opportunity to help people. Laurel Ashley Dillon, I want to thank my family and my boyfriend for providing me with endless love and support over the last 10 months. I appreciate and love you guys so much. Tara McKinley, I am dedicating my rose to my mom. She is my rock and my best friend. Without her, I would have never found my passion for nursing and I would have never made it through this program. Thank you so much and I love you to the moon and back. Julia Bongo, I dedicate this rose to my brother, Phil Abongo, and my family who have been my inspiration. Princella Pongvangsa. I dedicate my rose to my daughter, Anjali. Thank you for your patience, support, and reading my notes to me on our drives home, when you clearly had no idea what you were reading. To my family, your overwhelming support was appreciated more than you know. Jenna Harrison, I dedicate my rose to my family. I would not have been able to succeed without your support and help with babysitting this past year. Bridget Rollman, to my family, friends, peers, and coworkers for helping and encouraging me in more ways than I can count, especially my parents, siblings, and in-laws for helping out with the kids and to my loving husband who did all he could to keep me sane during this wild ride we call nursing school. Katie McLaughlin, I wish to dedicate this to my mother, father, Grandma Linda, and Grandpa Terry for always believing in and supporting me. Your love and support have helped shape me into who I am today. Mary Bernard, I dedicate my rose to my loving parents, siblings, and wonderful friends. Caitlin Johnson, I, de I dedicate my rose to my family who supported me during this crazy school year. Courtney Marcotte, I want to say thank you to my boys and Joe for all their love and support through school. I also would like to thank my mom and sister, friends and in-laws for helping make it possible for me to attend classes and fulfill my nursing dreams as well as supporting me throughout. Janelle Chavez, I would like to dedicate my rose to Caesar for being the best support system and believing in me. Thank you, I couldn't have done it without you. Leticia Dominguez, I want to dedicate this to my parents who left their roots for my opportunities. Ivy Fadig, I could not have done this without the help and support of my boyfriend, Sean Houston. My family and friends have been a supportive force behind me going back to school. I am so thankful for everyone who has kept me going through this program. Maria Therese George, to God for keeping me going, my daughters, their dad, and my family in a special way to Colsom, Sheila, Pat, and Joy for all their hard work in helping me learn and grow throughout this program. Kimberly Posey, I dedicate my rose to my husband, family, and friends. I couldn't have done it without their support and most importantly to my mother. Gregory Kyle Decker, my parents, family, and friends for the never-ending support and believing in me. Linda Trang, I dedicate my rose to family for their support and being there for me through it all. I'm gonna take a moment, Estella Akamana is ill and not able to attend today, but she tells us she's going to be watching. She wants to dedicate her rose like this. Above all, I thank God I dedicate my rose to my boyfriend, my family, and friends for supporting and helping me through this whole process. Jessica Henderson, I dedicate this rose to my husband, Brandon. Thank you for supporting me throughout this journey. 
Alyssa Andrade. I would like to thank God and my family for the continuous blessings. Today I get to fulfill my dream of becoming a nurse. Thank you all for your loving support and encouraging me. Sandra Kamau. And I have one more on here, Agnes, Elijah. <laughs> okay. Her dedication is to my mom, Teresa, and my daughter, Chantel. I think I read that. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the May 2021 Practical Nursing graduates. to service and to the high ideals of the nursing profession. 